Susan Boyle. I dreamed a dream in time of you this week, but you went out there and, and performed and seemed like you really enjoyed that. I want to thank people for all the support they've given me. Uh-huh. Especially the people at home, the people in the audience. You all, are you all at top by table, everybody. I'd like to thank you all for all your support. Thank you very much. It's, it's, been a, it's been a week full of pressure for all of the acts here tonight, none more so than you. Was that worth it, that, that in front of everybody here? Well worth it. <laughs> well worth it. That's a hell of everything. <laughs> That's where you really feel at home, isn't it, there on stage? I really feel at home on stage, of course I do. I'm among friends, am I not? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I think you are. Let's cross over to the judges and find out. Uh, Piers, what did you think of Susan's performance? <laughs> wow, Susan, you've had... A very difficult week. You've had an amazing seven weeks, but a very difficult week where you've been the centre of the world's attention. There have been negative headlines. You've been boiling over, cracking up, going to quit the show, all this kind of thing. And quietly, all I kept thinking to myself was, all you have to do to answer all your critics is walk down that stage to that microphone, sing the song that we all fell in love with, sing it better than you did last time. And Susan... I'm not supposed to favour anyone in this competition as a judge. I should be impartial, but you know what? Forget it. That, to me, was the greatest performance I've seen in Britain's Got Talent history. You should win this competition. I loved it. 